all belongs to him. And whether or not we want to admit to it or avoid it and don't want to testify to it, he is wonderful. sister said he that is mighty hath done to me not just a little bit of things not just a couple of things but he that is mighty hath done to me great things and holy can I get a witness holy is his name God is good church he deserves all the glory he deserves all the honor. He deserves all of the praise. Because he is wonderful. Let us bow our heads. Dear Heavenly Father, as we so humbly approach your holy throne of grace, O oh God, Father, thanking you and praising you for all that you have done. Father, thanking you and praising you for all that you have done. Father, for you have done great things. Father, we thank you for your blessings, the great as well as the small. We thank you, O oh God, for thinking so much of us that you took time out. Father, and you woke us up this morning. Father, you gave us the activity of our limbs. Father, you put a roof over our head and clothes on our back. Father, you put food on our table. For that, we say thank you, O oh God. Father, for you have done great things unto us. Father, we thank you for this opportunity to speak to this thy people, O oh God. Father, we pray that you might remember your word as it goes forth, O oh God. Father, that it might go from breast to breast, that it might go from heart to heart, that it might go from the east coast all the way to the west coast, O oh God. Father, to this end, that you might be the one that gets all of the glory that you might be the one that gets all of the honor and that you might be the one that gets all of the praise. Father, this is our desire. This is our prayer at this hour. Father, we're praying for those who had a mind to make it out to church service today but couldn't for whatever reason. We pray for any who might be pressing their way out right now. Father, we pray for the sick, the afflicted, the feeble-minded, and the blind, oh God. We pray for that individual who is less fortunate than we are, oh God. Father, we pray that you might remember us all be with us, lead us, and guide us in all truth and righteousness. And we will be very careful not to forget to give thy name and praise. Amen. Amen. Say unto you all, good afternoon, and may God bless you all. Thank God truly for what he has done. Thank God truly for what he is doing. And thank God truly for what he has plans to do. Thank God truly for just taking us throughout another week on our jobs, keeping us from all hurt, harm, and danger. Thanking God for keeping us from the sins of the world. Thank God truly for all the sin that was done in the world today. I didn't have any part or any pleasure therein. Thank God truly for his only begotten son, Jesus, who came to save us from sin. And he died that we might live and that we might have life more abundantly. We thank God truly for the scroll that reads obedience, love, reverence, and respect. It is first to God, then to leadership, then to one another. Thank God truly for the founders of the church, Elder and Sister Lightfoot, Solomon, and Mishaw. Thank God for their preachings and their teachings. Thank God for our present leadership, Elder Howard, to the deacons that are assembled, the ministers of the gospel, and to the saints of the Most High, visiting family and friends, we say unto you all, 
Good afternoon, and may God bless you all. Thank God for the saved wife that he's blessed me with. Thank God truly for blessing us to see you on this past week, our ninth year wedding anniversary. Thank God truly for the gifts and talents that he's bestowed upon us. Thank God for our three children, EJ, Mariah, and little Nathan. Thank God truly for the jobs he's blessed us with, transportation back and forth to the jobs. Thank God truly for the cars, houses, and all. Truly, God is great. Thank God for the sparks from the anvil this afternoon, which is found on page number three in your programs. First one says, hell is too hot, and eternity is too long. You may think that it's hot down here being 100, 102, 104, 110 degrees. But if you miss out on hell, this is just, this, if you miss out on heaven, thank you. This is just not even a fraction, not even a, an element of how hot hell is going to be. As one individual said, if I can just get a, a drip of water to quench me, I'll be satisfied with the quench of water. But if you miss out, church, on heaven, hell is hot. This isn't hot down here. Hell is hot. And eternity is a long time, church. Eternity is a long time to be burning in hell. So it's important that we make sure that we make it into heaven. Number two says, God does not help those who help themselves. He helps those who help others. Amen. He helps those who help others. Have that mentality, church, that if there's ever anything that you can do for your brother or your sister, your neighbor, even your enemy, do it. When that opportunity presents itself, seize that opportunity. Take advantage of that opportunity. Even if that person hates you to your guts, even if they call you everything but a child of God, do good to them. Because one thing is for sure, God doesn't help those who help themselves. God helps those who helps others. Number three says, you may hide your face, but you can't hide your spirit. You may hide your face and think that can't nobody see you, but you can't cover and you can't hide your spirit. If you got a spirit of lying, you can't hide it. If you got a spirit of thieving, you can't hide it. Pretty soon you get around somebody and you're going to start stealing. If you got a spirit of fornication, you can't hide it. Amen? Says you may hide your face, but you can't hide your spirit. Number, excuse me, on the reverse side of your program. In this world in which we live today, it is important to reach out to others who are in need of this salvation that we know and are assured of, because many are without knowledge and the love of God. Now, if we fail to show love, how will they ever know? So very important that when we come in contact with people day in and day out, show the love of God. Because you never know when that individual is going to make it up in their mind that they need God. The person that they're going to run to is the person that showed them the love of God. Amen? Amen. We thank God truly for these little nuggets that you can take around with you. Keep you meditating on the Lord. As we know, the idle mind is a workshop of the devil. So you want to always have meditations 